Hey, what's up, YouTube? Surreal Canon here with more Disguise 4, a time leap episode. Uh, in the last episode, we went looking around for Valvatores because maybe he would be able to help us stop this war that's going on. But we have not found him yet, and so we must continue to search. Artushi says we are apparently going to Resident Evil. You know, it's always a sixth sense. Why can't they? Why can't these guys ever have like seven or eight? You know. Really? Now that you mention it, the atmosphere around here is a little dark. I misread that as dank, and I was gonna make a joke about memes, but no, she said dark. Mr. Vampire. Dank is a funny scary. word. The next battlefield is over there. I see. Maybe he was led here by the smell of all the blood. No, it was the smell of the sardines big sis got his payment that attracted him. What? Really? But I thought Tyrant Bowsy doesn't care about sardines. However, it looks like the sardines are actually what attracted these guys. <laughs> I'd say. <coughs> yeah, but they don't look anything like that vampire. Big sis, Mr. Bowsy can change forms? Definitely. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that isn't Bowsy. Don't yeah, Valvi splits up into don't bats, not crazies and kitties. Yeah, yeah. Let's send these guys packing so we can get to the next battlefield. Okay, it's a filler episode. Let's go. Now we're gonna we're gonna get a bunch of fusions, aren't we? Easily taken care of, just observe. Here I go. Yeah. Evil spirit leave. Morona, your uh, your attacks need a little bit of work. I should reincarnate her more. She is. Timeline must be preserved. Miss Mags, are you scared? Is Mr. Bowsy really that scary? Of course I'm scared. Any normal human should be scared of vampires. Take that, Twilight fans. You're not. But normal. you guys are so confident, <laughs> which is why I'm following you. I see. So you have confidence in us, Mags? 
Really though, I'm making a big deal out of this ten years after anyone would consider it to be a big deal, so... Maybe the joke's on me. <laughs> We didn't make it in time. Listen up, courageous soldiers of Gustav! You need not worry! We have successfully summoned the ultimate monster! This sounds like it could be a problem. Bring it forth. Victory shall be ours! It's just a giant slime. Like, what do you think that's even gonna do? We have magic users. Can you feel the evil aura? It's exerting. Now, follow us. Let's give those wicked little bastards a bloodbath. <laughs> yeah. Huh? There they go. Guess they didn't notice us. Um, so that was their ultimate monster? <laughs> it looked really weak. I know, right? It's probably not even level 2000. You need to take this more seriously. Regardless of how it looks, Gustav is calling it their ultimate monster. If that thing is unleashed, the war won't end, and there's going to be way more casualties. Let's go after them. We need to find some way to stop them before more people get hurt. Alright, let's uh, actually see what some guys have to say. Nobody has much of anything to say. Let's go! Bridge of Horrors! At least it's not the, uh, the littlest pet shop of horrors. What is this? <coughs> wow. This might be the worst battlefield yet. Look at those soldiers. I don't think the world is quite prepared for a giant piranha plant that's also a tiny little puppy. They're going to be more injured. I've already reached my limit. <sighs> Sylvia. Stop! Just please stop! Why? Why do you all want to fight each other so much? War only brings sadness, hardship, and pain. There's nothing good about it. Nagi. Listen to me! Why isn't anyone listening to me? Ultimate monster was a cutscene boss. Come down there, lady friend. All those soldiers are too busy fighting. If you want them to listen, we need to stop them from fighting first. I like this plan. You guys, you're right. I wasn't thinking straight. Let's go, Puka, Desco. We can't lose to their monster. He came back! That's not fair! Look at this. No oh, I thought I said Nomura. <laughs> yeah, whatever. This guy is level 2000. So is that guy. Hunk. <laughs> There's two guys named Hunk. What? Are you twins? Uncle. 
って<笑>
Are you two really gonna talk to him? He's gonna kill you! Don't worry, Big Sis can befriend anything, whether it may be vampire or werewolf. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Fuka isn't exactly on Team Jacob, if you know what I mean. It's actually better that he's not a werewolf. See? <laughs> See? <laughs> Where the heck is Fenric anyway? Is he off on some secret uh, hey, mission? Can I talk to you for a sec? Just forget about everything that happened before. Can you help us protect Miss Artina? Hmm. I didn't expect them to summon this many demons in such a short time. I won't lie. This is a bit surprising. At this rate, the demons are going to lose their proud and noble dignity. This is not good. Hey, uh, I don't think he's listening. I'm counting on you. Keep it together. I know. We have Artina on our side, so this has to work. We need to get his attention somehow. Use Pretty Kaiser Double Cross! I don't care if it's love or not, just get this over with already! Uh, uh, my, am I thirsty? I may have overexpended my powers. I'd rather not feast on these humans' blood. But I guess I have no other choice. You shall restore my power. Hold it right there. Artina? What are you going to do, Mr. Vampire? Huh? Oh, it's you from the other day. Are you going to get in the way of my meal? I figured that's what you were doing. Please. He's still young and has a bright future. Will you please let him go? Yes, show some, show some restraint Human like Renelia does. What sustains vampires? You want to stand in my way? I could suck your blood first, you know. I see. You need human blood to survive? I feel for you. If you'd like mine, go ahead. Not to flatter myself, but I'm pretty cute and I'm a virgin. My blood should taste Ooh good. La la. But promise me one thing. Please don't drink any other human's blood after this. You just met him and you want to vampire marry him? You. Aren't you worried for your life? Who are you not to fear me? I'm just an average civilian. I'm also a nurse. I try to keep myself pure, so please, go ahead and take my blood. Ooh la la! My pride will not allow me to indulge in the blood of a human who possesses no fear of demons. To fulfill my duties as a demon, I will bring you to the depths of fear before I take your blood! We all know how this uh -huh. turns out. Okay, it's a promise then. Please don't take anyone else's blood until you scare me somehow. A promise, you say? I am pleased. I will take up that promise. Scaring you shouldn't be much of a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you better keep it. Just so you know, it's actually going to be quite tough to scare me. Plus, we're in the middle of a war. Just pray for me, so I won't die before you get the chance to scare me. Demons don't pray. However, it wouldn't be good for me if you died. Very well. Until I keep my promise, I'll watch over you so you won't die. Nevertheless, it won't take long. I give it three days until I get to take your blood. And thus, 
the promise between Sister Artina and Tyrant Valvatoris was made. The end was creeping ever closer. which can consist of a million sardines each, supports all kinds of life in the vast ocean. Burn the image of all those sardines giving themselves up as they're swallowed by larger fish into your retinas. Do you not recognize that as the epitome of servitude? Isn't it wonderful? I don't think any sardines willingly give themselves up. Next time, final episode. Flying out in the center of the world, requiem for a sardine. Fly out gloomily, forever. What is Artina seeing this guy? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine, but Fuka. It's a mystery to all involved. Sister Artina was able to convince Tyrant Valvatoris to promise <coughs> not to feast on human blood until he could scare her. Tyrant Valvatoris, determined to protect Sister Artina until he scares her, began to follow Fuka and company around. Fuka and Desco were excited that their plan had worked, but in the meantime, Nagi's doubts brought her great unease. Can they really trust a vampire? <clears throat> Right? I don't know what the nun promised, but he could betray us at any time. What are you gonna do if he changes his mind and attacks us? Oh, everything's fine. Fauzi is extraordinarily honorable. He'll never break a promise. Relax. As long as we have Miss Artina, Mr. Fauzi will never attack us. That's what you keep saying, but I can't help it. And if the two of them fall in love, then Artina won't have to die at all. Yes! Someone so nice shouldn't die. This god person is really messed up. Desmo's gonna exterminate him. Pretty sure you already did that in about, like, 12 episodes ago. Huh? What do you mean? She's destined to die? Crap, my tongue slipped again. Desco didn't say anything. You heard her wrong. Don't play dumb. Tell me. Fine. But don't tell Artina, okay? I won't. In a story we heard in the future, Artina was killed during the war. I think someone from her own nation accused her of being a spy. Or something like that. None being a spy? How could someone even think that? Of the many people Miss Artina treated, one of them was an important person from the enemy nation. Desco thinks that Gustav's soldier killed her after finding out she was providing care for that person. I see. Knowing her, I'm not surprised. So, she's gonna become a victim of this war. What are you saying, Mags? We're not gonna let her die. Huh? But according to your story, she's supposed to die, right? So what? Do you want Artina to die, Nax? That's not what I'm saying. Like, oh, it's, it's not that I don't like her, per se. She... She kind of reminds me of my sister. <coughs> I'm happy when she's with What? Can you speak up? I can't hear you. I... I wanted to survive the war, too! So we're all on the same page. We will all protect Miss Artina. Yeah. So where is she? Huh? Final episode, The Revisiting Ring. Check 
out of the bunch of treasure chests. Good amount of cash. A breastplate, which is probably useless to us. And some more cash. Which uh, we've got many more digits of, so uh, it's probably not even relevant. But yeah, that was Time Leap Episode 3. Thank you all for watching. We're gonna finish this up in a couple days. See exactly how the tragedy is going to play out because you know it will. This isn't the kind of game where you're able to change the past, even if you're already in the past and it's your present. But hey, who knows? Maybe we'll cause a paradox after all. That'll be a pretty funny ending. Bye bye for now.